Hi everyone, my name is Mackie and welcome to my channel. So my first video here is going to be about axolotls and axolotl care, specifically for juvenile and hatchling axolotls. My axolotls um, surprisingly had eggs. I didn't know anything on how to care for them and I looked up so many videos and none were giving me like the proper information. There was stuff out there but there was always more questions I had. So in this video I'm just gonna try to answer all of the questions that I had when I was looking for information on how to care for the eggs and the hatchlings. So to start out, you are going to want to either keep the eggs in the tank for the first bit, but then you're going to want to remove them. So the parents will eat the eggs when they hatch or sometimes before they hatch. So what I did was I removed all the eggs and put so I put them into a Rubbermaid container. And then I counted them. I had about 250 eggs, which was a lot for like you know, axolotls, like first batch. And I'll insert a few photos of my axolotls. So here are the parents. On the left is the albino lemon. He is the male. And on the right is toothless, the wild type female. These are the eggs when they were first laid. You can see they're fully circled. They started to develop after four days. Then they started to grow their tails. This is after about 10 days. This is when they first hatched, and then this is them about a week ago. Take the container that you're going to keep the eggs in, take a big scoop of water from the tank that they were already in, and then suck out the eggs with a turkey baster and put them into the new container. So I did this, and then after about 14 days of keeping them at around 18 degrees Celsius, just kept them on my desk and left them alone, they hatched. Um, I then just separated all of the hatched ones into a new container, and so on so on so what I did was I just took my desk and I cleared it off I lied down a tail um, and I just set up a container so I went to um, Walmart and I bought three large containers and then I think I bought seven yeah seven rubber made just tiny containers so I'll show you that so this is just my setup it is honestly just my desk and I put a towel down because I didn't want any spills to get onto the wood and right here I have a hatchery, which I'll talk about in a second. And then here are my hatchlings. So I separated them. These are all the albino and golden ones. They just ate. So you can see the orange in their tummies. They ate last night, so you can see the orange in their tummies. And then this is a mixture. And then over here again is a mixture. Some of them are big. They actually just started to grow their front arms, so now I'm going to have to separate them individually because after they grow their front limbs, you're going to want to separate them individually because they are entering their cannibalistic phase where, where they will nip each other's tails and their gills. I don't know if you can see. If I just give it a little tap. They're all very, very healthy. And then in here... Look at these guys. You can tell, see the difference between the albino and the golden. If the water seems dirty, it's because they ate and now I'm going to change the water today and then refeed them. They're so cute and they're so they're so nice. They don't really do much and they're so easy to take care of. So feeding. You're gonna want to set up an brine shrimp hatchery if you choose to feed brine shrimp you can also choose to feed daphina cultures but i find this cheaper and easier for a first time axolotl breeder or hatcher if you want to say so what you do is you're going to take a water bottle this one's about two liters or 1.5 liters and you're going to want to cut the top off you can either use the part that you cut off as a stand or i just use like a smoothie bullet magic bullet bottom so it wouldn't tip over and be more sturdy. You're going to want to fill it up about three quarters of the way with salt water. So I use warm water and then I use non-iodized fine sea salt. Sorry about the light. After that, you're just going to want to put in some brine shrimp eggs. I bought these off Amazon and they were, I think, $9 if I am remembering correctly. Um, they're just brine shrimp eggs, and they're very good. These ones hatch very good. They just come in a little silver package. You're going to want to put them in and turn on a light. They'll hatch within about 32 hours. I find mine, I keep mine for 
for about, yeah, 36 hours, and then they mostly are all hatched. You just... And one more very important thing is you're going to want I get a bubbler. So, this one's mine from PetSmart. It's 5-gallon top thin bubbler, and then I just got some tubing. I attached it to a straw, so it goes all the way to the bottom and doesn't be flimsy, and then I just let that go 24-7. Then you're going to want to turn it off and suck out the branch from the bottom. I will have another video on feeding. But that's pretty much it. You want to feed them once a day and change their water either once a day or every other day. I change these big ones once a day. Sorry, I change the little ones once a day and the big ones every other day with um, dechlorinated water. Room temperature. Um, one other piece of information that I couldn't find when I was looking is what containers um, people use to separate their baby axolotls into when they needed to separate them individually. So, what I... <laughs> so what I'm going to use is, I think I'm going to get um, the sample size containers, you know the olive containers that you use when you go to the store, um, the supermarket, I'm just going to get some of those, the tiny ones that are about this big and you know circular, and I'm going to lie those out over my desk, probably going to need to get another table, and then just put one baby in each. I'm going to be selling these guys because right now I have 190 and I have a like I can't keep all of them um so I have golden albino and wild type and you can check out the link below so make sure to like this video and give it a big thumbs up and leave any comments below if you want to see any improvements in the axolotl kit or have any questions at all okay guys